to God. God sometimes on our journey will allow storms to come into us. And when he began to allow the storm to come unto them, by, you know, the Bible says that, that Jesus went apart to pray and, and he was praying and then the storm came. They was in the middle of the storm. And I just want to give this nugget. If, if you are in the middle of the storm and you are experiencing fear because everything is contrary, it's an opposition to what God said. Children ain't acting right. Family ain't acting right. Job ain't acting right. I don't feel God no more. I'm trying to worship him. Don't know how to worship him. Everything is going against what God is saying unto you. You might as well keep on. You're in the middle anyway. It's the same distance going back than it is going forward. You're in the middle. You might as well keep on going. You might as well keep on going. Hallelujah. You might as well face him and go on get. You're going to get back over there and look over and you, that storm's still going to be there waiting on you. And God ain't going to change his mind. He says, I'll meet you on the other side. Verse number 28, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come. And he said, what? Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water. He did what? He walked on the water. He did. He, 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 was, he was doing the spectacular. Why? Because he obeyed God's word that said come. And he walked on the water to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was what? Afraid. Fear not. God got you. I don't care how hopeless it may seem. God is still in control. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter number four. You need to recognize, and, 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 and my word to you this morning, because I know many of you are on your journey. You're saying, God, I'm believing you, God, I'm trusting you. But you have a question to say, Lord, why this storm? God, why is it this storm, Lord? Why, why is it, Lord God, that I'm following you, but it seems like it's getting worse? Amen. Have anybody ever experienced that? Yes. Oh, yes. You know, you begin to believe God, and, and you begin to you give your life to him, and it seems like it gets worse. Amen. I always wondered, God, why does it seem like it's getting worse? worse why does it seem like you know because it's designed to bring fear it's designed to attack your faith it's designed for you to start doubting God that he is going to do what he promised he is going to do in your life and we can't get fearful we can't be afraid we can't turn around we got to let God do in us what he designed to do God if I'm going through a storm I trust you got it. Amen. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just at a point in my life to where I really believe God got it. Amen. I really do. No matter, you know, I, it seemed like, you know, especially for some of us, we walk with him long enough now. Yeah. You know, we walk with him long enough now. We've cried, we've murmured, you know, we've been into places that we thought, you know, God was not going to show up and he showed up and we shouted and ran around the church and we said hallelujah and gave him praise only to get to the next storm Amen. to forget the kind of God we serve. And, and I don't know about you, but, but I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know, it is, it, it wears you out not to believe God. <laughs> yeah, you might as well go ahead and believe him it wears you out not to believe God tired of wrestling with God you ain't gonna win that fight amen it, you know it, 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 it get weary sometimes I don't, I don't know about you but man I'm, I'm at this place now to where I'm just at rest I'm at rest Hebrews 4, 9 says, Therefore, there remaineth therefore a what? A rest 
to the people of God. God wants you to rest. God wants you to rest. That was, that was one account to where him and the disciples, they was in the ship, and the ship was, again, they was in the storm again. Ain't learned their lesson. Ain't learned their lesson at all. Because in this account, Jesus came, told Peter to come out on the water. Peter came out. He picked him up. He stepped into the boat. As soon as he stepped into the boat, the, the, the storm stopped. Right? So they, they even testified, what manner of man is this? Only to find another account to where Jesus was in the boat with him this time. And the storms began to rage. And while the storms was raging, Jesus was asleep. Resting. Jesus was asleep even while the storms were raging. Because he was fully confident that this storm was not going to take them under. And so he, he was in the storm resting. And that's the way God wants us to be. To get to the point to where no matter what is going on on the outside of us, no matter what is going on in our environment, that there is a rest for the people of God. There's a peace for the people of God. I'm, I'm, I'm to the point now, I, I don't care about the report. I don't, I, don't, I don't care because see if, you know, especially me as a shepherd, if I don't learn this, boy, I have, a, I have praise the Lord. <laughs> you know they were saying that we went to our, um, our Bishop Wilkinson was telling us uh, we were celebrating with the uh, Restoration Christian Ministries on Friday they celebrated 10 years and one of the things he was saying was that it's a celebration every time a church lasts another year because the average every week a church is closing its doors in the United States every week and he was talking about this particular church to where the pastor just walked out in the middle of church and didn't come back. Just left his pool, just left his post and left them void of a shepherd. Because most of the time shepherds, we, you know, we don't we I think y'all do give me good news every now and then. <laughs> but for the most part when my phone ring <laughs> it ain't good news, amen. But I've come to recognize. And I was telling somebody this. I said, you know, I thank God that I'm in a unique position as a shepherd. I'm in a unique position because it's one thing for you to know how to rest from your own stuff. You know what I mean? It's, it's one thing to know that when the enemy is coming at you and, and, and you're dealing with this, that you can learn how to rest in your own stuff. But it's a whole other level when you have to rest for other people's stuff. Hey man, it's a whole nother level when, when, when things are going on, storms is going on in other people's lives and you still can rest. So I was trained well. Thank you very much. I have to thank y'all that I was trained very well. <laughs> but I'm at a place, I'm, I'm really, I'm at, a, I'm at a place now to where I'm just resting. I don't care how big the bill is. I don't care how big the challenge is. I ain't moving. I'm resting. Because there is a rest to the people of God. He says, for he that, he, for he that enter into his rest, he also has ceased, what? From his own works. Right? And see, that's, that's why we miss it. You can't, you can't rest when you're working. And too many, of, too many of us trying to work and do God's stuff. We're trying to help God out. Anybody ever try to help God out? You know, I just want to help you out, Lord. You're moving a little bit too slow for me, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want, I just want to help you out right now. And the fact of the matter is, if, if you're working, God ain't going to work. God ain't going to work. If you're doing this job, have anybody ever been that way? You know, you're supposed to be doing something and somebody else went and did it and you just, you ain't trying to help them. You ain't going to do it then. <laughs> you want to do it? Go and do it. <laughs> and that's the way God is. If we ain't ceasing from our work, if we ain't ceasing from trying to make this thing happen, if we are not ceasing from trying to come up with all kinds of ways to make it happen, then God cannot step in and be God. Amen? So we have to rest from our own work. We have to cease from our own work. 
as God did from his. Let us labor. Say labor. labor. Therefore, the enter into his rest. You see the man fall after the same example of what? Unbelief. Unbelief. He says, let us labor. Now, God, you just told me to cease from my own work. You just told me to cease from working. Then now you come back and tell me to labor. What in the world are you talking about? How are you going to tell me in one breath to don't work and then come back in another same sentence and tell me that I need to labor? Well, he's talking about two different types of labor here. He's talking about two different types of labor. The labor that he wants you to work 